My name is Dallas Shepard with the Harmonized Brain Centers, and today we're going to talk about the mean dominant frequency map. This map is very vital in how we interpret or what's going on with the brain. Again, it's not used as a diagnostic tool. It is used more, we look more at the trends that take place over the 10 to 12 sessions that we typically ask people to commit to. So when we look at this map, a little bit different than our mean total amplitude, but what we have here is, a, again, our scale. We're going from zero on this one is no more than zero to 42, okay? But it's measured in frequency, not microvolts. The other part that we look at is each one of these bars represents one of the functional areas that we're talking about on the map, that the sites that we go to on the head. The other part is we're looking at the difference between the light blue and the black. Again, flexibility is the light blue or suppression or lack thereof of suppression. So we want to see about 35 to 70% blue to black. As you can see, we have some bars here that have very little light blue, very inflexible. The other part, we can see that these are down here way below the five mark. So that's going to tell me we're dealing a lot with more slower waves involved. When I look over here at this picture, this again, this is the nose. This is the left ear, right ear, and the back of the head. On this map here, colors start meaning something. The darker the blue, uh, the slower the waves. When I have the red areas, the orange, and the yellow, those areas are areas that are working a lot harder. So as I had described before, this client was a 14-year-old male, had a lot of uh, processing issues, was when you would speak to him, he was a little bit slower, very intelligent, but the processing was slow. So in, in essence, that's also verified by this map. We have the back of the brain, where it's being been able to take and take in all the information, but we look up here where the frontal lobe is running a lot slower, we're seeing that is where the processing issue is taking place. The back of the brain is speaking, it's sending information faster to the front than it can make a decision. So I hope this helps on how you're looking at this mean dominant frequency. Again, this is just identifying when you did the lens session, the little white line that was bouncing back and forth on the spectrum display. This is just an average of all the frequencies that we're taking in that, during that session per that site. So if you like this information, please like us on Facebook, subscribe to our channel, or visit our website at harmonizedbraincenters.com. Lens, low energy neurofeedback, we're actually giving feedback to the brain.